This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their owns. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. <laughs> If you're like one motherfucker say I'm a motherfucking mouth bitch, you be the motherfucking microwave, I'm the popcorn, pop me baby. Bust my face up, make the motherfucking blood be the goddamn butter for the goddamn popcorn. Okay, y'all ass going to jail for chance on me and I'm suing your asses to the fullest extent. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> Tuxedo mask, save me. Hello, guys, it's me. We're back. Pierre, a.k.a. Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fan, Osama, Delana, Brown. And we are back for another darn raw view. Look, I have those contacts that be shifting. So if I'm looking like Kennedy Davenport, don't fight me. <laughs> this is a place where you come to what? Keep it cute. Keep it mute. I get the boot. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I thought I was done for a little while. I wrapped up the UK. Dragon is still going, but I wrap up the UK. I'm like, you know what? It's time to retire. It's time, you know, go on, a, take my time share from YouTube, you know, and go on a hiatus, a little vacation for a while. And then I woke up that next day, right after the UK ended, to people messaging me saying, You thought it was over? Well, baby, put down that suitcase. The season 16 queens of RuPaul's Drag Race just had to meet the queens. Oh, why? Y'all haven't had enough of torturing me. No. Ugh. And if any of my seasonal fans are back, you know, who come around for the certain seasons y'all want to watch, hi, but I'm still the same. I'm still reading your favorites. So before you start talking, don't get blocked. And of course, if you'd like to tip me for this hard work, please do. All the information is down below in the description box. But make sure you also like and subscribe. And we also have a new addition. And I don't mean the group. In the words of Jack Baker from Resident Evil 7. Welcome to the family, son. We got Ultimate Chucky Fish. His eyes do move. Let me show you. But yeah, you can watch my whole unboxing video. Support that, you know. Yeah, for this little man right here. Oh, and I'm still getting Tiffany. She's coming, I promise y'all. So, being that I didn't do Jam with Pierre on my Dracula video, which, but because I told and redirected people to go see my Christmas Jam with Pierre video about Brandy's album, y'all should go watch it. We're gonna do a quick Jam with Pierre, and this time the song will be Mind of a King from the group Black. It's B L A Q U E, Black. You know the head. Boom, like a 705. Squares like a square eight. Or, oh baby, bring it on to me. But I don't need no funky Cheeto smelling feet. Oh baby. The song is called Mind of a King. And I'm sure black, all, a couple of these people will make their way back around to Jam with Pierre. And I'm also pretty sure I'm cockeyed right now, but it's okay. The contacts have moved. I love this beat. This song, their album was very, it was a cute album. Their, their first album was really cute, it was. Because I was expecting to hear more things like 808, but their album was just different. Like, it, 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 it had a, these different kind of, I don't know who they were trying to target. 
like I think when they had 808, it was the target, the black audience. And then when they had Bring It All To Me, it was kind of black, but then they added like NSYNC in there or whatever. And then it came like, so they could cross over to the white folk. And then they had that song, I Do, I Do. And it was like an Old Navy commercial. And another, another song that I love from them called Rainbow Drive. It's, it's so gay. Let's go to Rainbow Drive. I'll say that one day. Yeah, and this song is like mellow, relaxed. And I think actually Brandy, the other singer, I guess she was the other lead, but she never sung that many leads, but she's singing mostly on this song. And yeah. And I love the little, um, their little, um, what's it called? What's it called, y'all? Interludes and stuff. Like they had somebody calling and they, and they thought they were gonna, they were gonna win something. And then, but then they were like, <laughs> no, they called in red, black. They were like, I don't know why they big anyway. And they needed a new weave. They needed a perm. <laughs> and they were like, oh, okay, hang her up, hang her up. <laughs> anyway. I was sitting on my throne, on how no one else knows what See, I love it. I, love it. I was sitting on my throne, vibing on what else, what else knows. We're not really into being together. We were forced into being lovers. Ah, like, it's just very, like, it's... I don't say lazy, but it's just so relaxed. It's just, it's very, it's kind of Egyptian too. I just, cause like, I actually did this lip sync when I was like um, a sphinx. No, not a sphinx. What are those dog, the dog things called from Egypt? You know, with the long nose. I did, I did that kind of look. Oh, yeah, and Anubis, thank you. But it, it, it gets me very Egyptian. I just see royalty. I just see like. Bronze skin, Cleopatra wigs, braids, just laid back, sexy, just eating grapes. And this song is on. That's what it gives me. Wondering what you thinking next. And is your mind that too complex? You gotta escape to where you are to find a place down in your heart. It's a shame that this old game has got me going insane. So let's go deep, deep into the minds of a king. So let's go deep, deep into the minds of a king. See, I, I love that. Natina saying, you know, the rapper saying, of a king. And who once was a love, try to hide behind me or, ow. Father in a dream, you told her once. Now look for that little beat coming in. Let's go far, farther than a dream. It almost gave me grinder ringtone tease. I live. I live for that. Ow. See, it's very <laughs> and just thinking. Possibly I know the girl you want to catch her in your world Then you want to jump into her body And I just can't fight it trust me now. I don't want to and if I leave it just preview You're supposed to be my everything You're supposed to be there for me. So let's go deep and deep into the mind of a king Ow! See, I don't, even, I don't even need the song. I am already lost, girl. I am in Egypt right now. Girl, you can't tell me nothing, okay? You're supposed to be there for me, so let's go. Oh, oh, see, and when that beat just came in, it was very Egyptian. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, <laughs> buddy. I'm not going. <laughs> You're the best man I ever knowed. This is the part you are laying back in a salon, but you're waiting for Ling Fang to come and finish your toes. And the da 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 comes on. Somehow you're eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't know how you got into the nail salon, but whatever. And while you're waiting for her to come back and do your toes, you twinkle each toe to da 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 as you gently eat into your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But I hope it's not wheat because wheat gives you yeast infections. And I hope you're eating white bread 
So, so yeah. Try to hide behind me. Oh, I'll try to hide behind me. Oh. Cause she you know she don't she don't sing sing, but it's cute for what she does. Okay, and like it's cute. It, it, don't, it, don't, it, don't, it don't need all the extra Fantasia runs. It's just cute for what it is. A little a little simple ad lib there, you know, not much. <laughs> Ow, she's done da 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 ing. Cause she let, she let out the exhale. Da 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 da. And then she walked out the studio. She was done. She said, Shamari, Natina, you handle the rest. Do you know how much it took my diaphragm to push those notes out? Da 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 da. Y'all got it, girls. I'm gone. Bye. That has been da da da. Oh no, it's called Mind of a King. <laughs> That's been Mind of a King from Black. And that mother effing been Jamal Lapeon. And that's been jamming with Pierre. Now, let's see what the season 16 queens ill bring in. I was just telling people on Twitch that it's weird. It's kind of exciting in a way because it feels like it's been a while since I've seen like the American season, but it hasn't been that long, but it seems like it. Don't adjust your screens. Sasha now I was going to say, why is she on the screen? <laughs> I forgot she won the last season. Like, oh. Oh, they're already showing this. Thank you for wearing body, whoever you are. Whoever you are, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay? Because I was telling them earlier earlier as well, I feel like now Drag Race consists of girls who grew up watching Drag Race. Like, their first season was season six. There's no, I don't think there's no longer them finding, like, I don't know, legends or, like, people who've been doing drag before Drag Race. I feel like now it's just, like, you know, gonna be copy paste queens. We'll see, but I do appreciate her padding and tucking. Thank you. I don't see any chest though, but I'm gonna let it slide. <laughs> and if anybody from this season is watching my raw view, y'all should know how I do by now. I don't want to hear none of that sensitive stuff. I don't want to hear y'all crying and whining because I don't like something. Get over it. It's not that serious, okay? When it comes when it comes to other people, y'all saying it's just drag. But if I say something, I have an issue with it. I don't have any ill will over here. Any mean vibes towards any of y'all. I don't know y'all. It just might be my opinions and that's it. In the words of, Ru of Arushka Levels, giggity. My name is Q and I am the one and only It's like I can tell that's him and her because it, it looks the same kind of. That's not a read but no like he looks cute as a girl like he's like he's, he has a makeup but I can recognize the face right then and there. And not just the name Q. Just Q. Just a letter Q. That's it. Q. Nothing else. Q. That's cute. See that's, that's kind of cute because you kind of just like Q. It's kind of clever. I kind of don't know. I kind of wish maybe her little buns on her head were a little bigger. <laughs> it was like baby, like baby deer, like antlers coming in. Yeah. Girl, why I thought that was, I'm like, I'm like, is that, um, I thought Simone, I thought Lux. <laughs> I'm like, they're back. Uh, outfit wise, I'm not living. It looks a little wrinkled. Not only that, the color, like it's, I feel like she needed something more bedazzled or bejeweled around the legs. Maybe some blue sparkling boots. Something like that to match the the cape part. Something. You know, so. But it's, yeah. I, I don't think I care for it that much. Tsunami Muse. Que yo soy la diva de Nueva York. Tsunami Muse from New York. Wait, is he African? Jamaican? Caribbean? <laughs> That's a man. Girl, you know who I thought this was? No shade. <laughs> I can't think of her name right now, but when I did her show in New York, the last time I was in New York, and I did the um, sit down and watch Drag Race with her. Oh, what is her name? Because at first I thought it was her. She looks like her to me. I can't think of her name right now. I can't think of her name. She looks like her, and she kind of gives me secretly. Ma Magnolia. I see a little Magnolia. The nose is the nose isn't as skinny, but I magnolia. And I like the breast contour, but the neck part, I'm mad she had the nerve to try to roll it down like a turtleneck. <laughs> she said they'll never know. They'll never know. It blends into my skin. They can't clock me. They can't clock me. 
Girl, you are, girl, you look like an uncut peen coming out the um, breastplate. <laughs> okay, a mandatory meeting. As far as the outfit goes, it's cute. You know, it's cute. It's like a cute little walk-in outfit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rent it. The beauty and the booty. Wait, but why she kind of looked the first girl that walked in? <laughs> okay, she's definitely painted. I wonder if she trans, I wonder. She's painted. There's something about, because she's so short, something about the proportions of this <clears throat> throws me off a little bit. Because <clears throat> she's a little top heavy, up, like, you know, as far as like a little more, more broader up top, but then the waist is kind of a little more smaller. Maybe also the heels. I don't think I like the outfit, but she's definitely painted though. She's painted. Love Dion. I am Wait, I think I've seen this person. I think he was in a, I think he was, I think it was him and some other Latin guys. They had on Mickey Mouse hats and they were mad because I may have read them. I think. <laughs> I mean, but I mean. Latina goddess of Miami, Florida, the absolute terra, and I'm here to heat things up. Show us the nails. Show us the nails. Okay. <laughs> My drag is all about the mug. The makeup always has to be 100 mug, Iana Dupree. <laughs> I think this place is haunted. Oh. She, this is a drag queen. I could tell her booty stink. For I smell it in Riverdale. If your booty stink that bad, you're definitely a drag queen. Um, but I wonder, she gives me trans girl. She gives me... If not trans, definitely she's been in pageants for a long time. You can kind of tell a pageant girl, like especially like the girls who may dip into trans or they may dip into the work, getting work done. Cause she gives me that like, you know, the girl who probably has a name wherever she is. That's what she gives me. She gives me, yeah, like, like old school kind of queen in a way. I'm Spirit Crystal and I'm Philadelphia's crown. Oh, he's not trans, he's just fish. Oh, okay. <laughs> as far as the outfit goes though, I'm gonna rent it. I think the boots may be a little too tall. I wanna see a little more thigh, but I'm gonna rent it though. And the confessional look is clean. He definitely is in pageants because he's like, I'm gonna look clean in the confessionals and I'm gonna look clean outside of drag. I mean, I mean in drag, you, you can tell. Yeah, I mean, it's cute. I kind of like it. It's giving me the look from the last promo of the last season where they had like the racetrack kind of outfits on and the color theme. It's kind of, it's kind of giving, like, I want to rent it. It's kind of cute. It's young, it's fresh. You know, I'm, I'm gonna rent it. <laughs> My name is Mirage and I am known as- Robert, is that you? <laughs> Robert, that's your brother. See, if your hair wasn't so thin, your ponytails could be just like that, but you're thinning and bald. Poor baby. <laughs> that is your, that is your brother. That is your, <laughs> I like the boy look. I think he, I, I kind of think I like him already. I don't know. It, 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 it's giving me 90s. I'm, I'm getting 90s, just guy with a bandana, pigtails. And the drag is like young and fresh and cute. You know, yeah. we are young. We are free. We are the. Oh, wow. Dang, she's doing too much. <laughs> oh, Lord. Is, it, oh, is, it, is this another Willow pill? Another denim? <laughs> I say that because of the makeup. Like, this gives me, like, copy-paste queen. It's cute. I'm going to buy the look. I am. I'm buying it. It's very Harley Quinn. But I'm getting, like, those same kind of queens. Like, it's very that same kind of look already. Already. I'm sorry. It is. It is. But I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I'm Don. I'm the ethereal elf goddess. Oh, he's a cute little boy. <laughs> I live for the earring. The key earring. It's cute. And he's cute. He's like a little elf. <laughs> a little Christmas elf. A little elf twink. Bye. Ow. <laughs> this person so far... Judging by the face, it gives me I will read you. She gives me housewife fish, like one of the messy housewife queens. I'm going to rent this. The hair might be a little too much. Or either I wish she would have done her makeup a little much more. A little more Bratz-like, because the hair's going to be Bratz. <laughs> I'm like, what just dropped behind me? <laughs> I thought that doll fell down. Romeo, can you please stop scaring me? I literally forgot you were in this room. I will say, 
kudos to transforming your face. This, you look like a whole nother person. You look like a whole nother person. I'm like, who's bad uncle, um, cousin is this? Who's bad nephew Debbie stealing? Who's this? <laughs> and then the girl face is very like diva, mature. You definitely paint a different face on. Congrats on that. So far, these girls are giving me kind of drag. I mean, they, I mean, I mean, they kind of are though. I'm just saying. I ain't know my drag sister. She goes by the small name. Once again, no breasts. I, I guess that's the new thing now. But at least she's padded. <laughs> so here's our. You know, they gotta have the the campy, the jinx, the bendela, the. I'm just saying, like you know, they have to meet a certain criteria for each season. They're kind of the same girls. But with that being said. I don't like this. I want to. Don't. She's definitely giving me that character, though, of somebody back in that time frame, so I appreciate that. But I, I wish maybe, maybe a pants, pants that were that same style of the jacket, maybe something else, maybe maybe not the yellow skirt. I can't fully get into it all, all just yet. This gorgeous 24-year-old. See, he does look older. He has a very interesting face. He looks older, but young at the same time. He kind of looks like Tom Holland, but also Robin Williams, but also the old guy from Price is Right, he, and, and, and the cartoon Doug. <laughs> it's, he's very interesting. Like, he's, like, this is, <laughs> he's, he's interesting. I, I can see why he does this old-time look, because he kind of has that old-time face, like you would see his face back in those, like, black and white pictures. I, I kind of do see that. I'm cutting it off now. <laughs> she even starts talking. I'm gonna rent. I'm gonna rent it. I'm gonna rent it. Kind of wish it was cinch a little more, but I want to rent it though. I'm gonna rent it. Everybody knows me, Geneva. Vroom, vroom. See, I don't want to give too many compliments because I know a lot of Mexicans hate me, and who knows what he was telling his cousins about me, child. But I guess you know he look cute. I guess whatever. <laughs> the girls are bodying. Did Drag Race tell the girls y'all better make sure y'all pad? Y'all better make sure y'all pad. We are tired of y'all coming here not padding. Because for some reason, all these, almost, I think, maybe, I'm trying to think was the one that I called Robert, was he padded? I think he kind of was, but small. But the girls are padding. The girls are, the girls are putting on pad and makeup, and they're doing drag again. Like, something had to be in the memo. There was something in the memo. <laughs> Someone said, they watched my videos. No, <laughs> like, thank you. Thank you, girls. Thank you, Go back to being drag queens. This plate always goes down. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, she probably read me and called me and, and joined the um, hate bandwagon about me. But who cares? She's padded. Yes. And painted. I'm plain Jane and I'm... Okay, his face is definitely done and worked on. But he's cute. <laughs> he's cute in like a kind of... Ken doll kind of way, but his face was worked on, so it's not all natural. I'm gonna give a compliment, but also hate at the same damn time. It's a gift of mine. Some even call it talent. We got somebody. Is this Mistress Isabella Part Two? <laughs> Is she Mexican as well? Cause I love the, the, the little bolero. <gasps> I I said the word correctly. I think I'm also Mexican. I'm gonna actually buy her outfit though. Madame and I'm the geek sheep goddess of Oh Lord, he's a Sasha Valor fan. There go that damn hat. He said, Sasha, can I please borrow your hat? It brought you luck. Play and high fashion and avant-garde look. Okay. I wanna see these different looks now. I wanna see. Is she gonna live up to it? It's a few New York girls in here, but it's always a lot of New York girls on drag race these days. Girl, now sister, that face is banana down. You use the whole loose pigment banana powder and just threw it on your face girl you are too highlighted <laughs> it is too highlighted but let me see more of the look though let me see but she kind of looks like little kim and i wonder is that what she's going for she looks, she looks like little kim now asian little kim like literally the way she the way she highlights her face is like little kim it's the same kind of technique and the jaw is a little more pointed and longer i i, I promise you i really wonder is she Inspired by Little Kim. As far as the outfit goes, I don't know how I feel about it, but I can tell she's very confident and she might curse you out. So, yeah. <laughs> and it's time to get this tested. And come on, come on, our first drag queen with braces. Yes. 
Oh, and that's who she also looks like. It's Little Kim, but also, oh my God, no, guys, y'all have to watch the movie Ladybugs. She looks like the nerdy girl who had on her glasses and braces, and then at the end of the movie, Rodney was like, you know, you're a beautiful girl. Now get out of there and take off that glasses and show them what you got. And then she got her hair and put it down, and it swung her hair around. This one's for you, Coach Chester. And do they look alike? Yeah, no, they, they, they really do. They look alike. I promise they do. <laughs> well, I beg your views. I'm the TikTok sensation. I wonder is that what my kind of daughter, kind of kind of ex daughter, kind of daughter, but still kind of daughter, <laughs> was talking about who she kind of thought was on was on this season. Ow! Is this the Raja of 2023, bit? <laughs> I'm already buying it. The foolery. It's, 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 it's very the crazy 50s look, that kind of thing. The banana peel, I'm buying it. Banana. Never mind, I hate it. <laughs> why? But why, though? But why? If you don't take your crazy but the Dragula. <laughs> oh, I thought it was on White Queen. <laughs> Not banana Buddha. <laughs> Sexual, cultural, and very yellow. She's gonna go far because you know Asian people are in. Okay, uh, they are. Oh, they are in. She's gonna go far. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I see RuPaul still ain't changed her wigs though. <laughs> I will say that was kind of exciting. I don't know if it's because I'm just like, if I was tired, tired, I'd probably be all like, oh, what's up? but it was kind of exciting. I think the girls are kind of exciting, and I think what makes it exciting is that I don't know any of these queens. Like, I know the girl, the, the Maya girl, I think I've probably seen her videos, you know, could people share it or whatever, but I don't know any of them. So that's what makes it exciting, I guess. It's like, what are these new bunch of girls going to do? You know, and I do, and I do, and I do think the girls are kind of different. I, I, I really do. So let's see, let's see what the girls talk about in the Meet the Queens. They're showing the look so fast, but hopefully they'll slow down and show them a little more. <laughs> we'll see. Right, yeah, this is RuPaul's song sounds kind of smooth. I think that RuPaul doing R&B finally. Are you finally black again? You black again? Right, black, right, black. I love you, Dad. Ow! They showed her so fast, but her pants was sickening. Sickening. Okay, Mandatory's meeting her little promo look. I am going to buy it. Well, yeah, Nick, okay. I mean, it's really eating is a lot of things. They have this fog, I think, blowing on them. Cause I'm like, why does it look kind of like filtered? But it definitely, I do think the promo's kind of cute though. But I'm going to take claim for this. They were inspired by my army fatigue look that I gave them a long time ago in my audition video. And can't none of y'all tell me different. They, they went back and saw that video and said, Let's hijack her army fatigue idea and use it for the season 16 Meet the Queens. You girls are welcome. <laughs> and then the third thing that I'm not watching all of this. <laughs> Howdy. Okay. Does she always do her makeup like this, I wonder though? Like a fawn, a deer, you know, that kind of thing, that kind of um what's it called? The thing with the goat legs but the body of a human. But she is cute though. Like, I'm gonna buy this too. You know, it is something different and unique. Cause I'm originally from Raleigh, North Carolina. I Not North Carolina. Pandemic, I was depressed and staying up all night. Are you me? Am I you? Very fantasy inspired delusion, grandeur, I'm really weird. I think we see that. But once you get to know me, you learn that I'm really nice and- Allegedly. One the Latina is fired up like a pepper. No, this is, this is literally Mistress Isabella again, but with more of a tan. <laughs> I'm sure she's her own queen, but I'm just saying, like, I, like, especially in this look, I really get Mistress for real. I'm going to buy Geneva's outfit, and I like the little, like, um, nod to, was it Versace that gave Naomi Campbell that um, outfit with the gold belt buckle things going across her chest and arms? So yeah, I'm gonna buy this. I'm originally from Tamaulipas, Mexico, but I currently reside in- See, and you know, I'm down with the homies, the Spanish folks. So only something that us Spanish folks would get and she would get. Girl, Amanda, Hola que por más que por chimica masi ha tono porque paso no rock en chamisa paparru. 
you better work, girl. And those of y'all who don't speak our language, <laughs> better luck next year, toots. Go read a Spanish book. Where did the car come from? from? We asked advice. advice. The queen, queen knew, knew that, that I didn't own a car, car so she was like, you need a car, car. but it's like, like she said, you need a car. car. I just took it and I ran it, and here we are. are. The dress scene, scene where I'm from, from in Brownsville, it, it is very over the top, top big hair, big, big makeup, makeup, very Latino, Hispanic, Espanol, Mexicanos, you know, we are a border town. I always like to think of Geneva as a chameleon. I just, 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 it always has to have the Latina touch and the... All I'm hearing so far from her is, Wah, 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 I'm Latina, wah, 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 I'm Latina, wah, 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 I'm Latina, Mexican, wah, 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 We get it, you're proud, honey, god dang, what else? <laughs> what else? <laughs> Come on, side eye. I'm just mad RuPaul still don't have a hairline this season. Dang. Being here on Drag Race awoken the... Her face. Who am I seeing? Is it Phaedra? I'm seeing somebody with her face because she really has a severe mug. Her mug is severe. Meaning like she looks like she will curse you out. She has a very severe diva kind of mug. Is it also Little Kim? But when she was black though. I'm going to just rent this. It's okay. It's okay. Greg persona is a 47 year old woman with a pixie cut. She has a gold. But your hair is long right now. Where's the pixie cut? Where is it? Oh, and quad. Thank you, Luke. Yes. I see Quad from Medi Mary to Medicine, Phaedra, and I also see a Simone, but more of a more fuller face and more severe. That's what I see in the face. A lot of these girls are just, you know, trying to get here. <laughs> he said, I am more than that. I am more than drag race, and I've seen enough. First, I've been on the train at three o'clock in the morning. There is nothing. When I tell you, she loves her boleros. I want to buy this though. She loves a bolero. I want me a cute bolero. I want one so bad. I'm a huge gamer myself. She's not a gamer because she doesn't own a gold-plated PS5. <laughs> Try next year. I was in college. My parents moved to Staten Island. Why in the face? No, for real. She kind of gives me if Drew Carey got into drag. <laughs> of course, way better. But I kind of see Drew Carey in there. I don't know why. <laughs> I love to do glamorous things, but I also love horror. Okay, so, she, so she's a, a geeky, geeky, nerdy, nerdy, wordy, wordy. Okay. Quiet, but if a girl comes to me, she better be ready for the heat. Girl, that, girl, she, <laughs> girl, them breasts are blowed up. I'm going to buy this look, though. Ow. I do like her face, though, I do. Even though I think she put on a lot of things highlight. But right here, it, look, it, looks more, it looks more tame than calm down and bronze. But she still gives me that girl from Ladybug. She does. And I think that's so cute because I love that girl's face. She was so pretty to me. The show, at the time, I was in love with the singer Maya. Okay. A lot, a lot of people don't talk about Maya. Okay, I see you, queen. I see you. And full of entertainers, high energy. I keep, I keep looking at the breasts. They're throwing me off because something about them just look a little too hard and plastic. I'm like, girl, what what is that made out of, honey? <laughs> It looks like rubber. It, they're just like, I don't know, maybe maybe they, they need some highlight or something, child, in the chest part. <laughs> South Beach. And yes, it's outside. We have a pavilion. Yeah, I've seen it. And they be, they, I don't know how them girls do it. And daytime, too. Daytime. And you know my aim is hot. But they be out there working on that concrete. They really do. Yes, that I'm a diva, which I'm not. I get along with everybody. For some reason, I don't believe that. I think she's a diva. I don't believe it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I think she's a diva. <laughs> That's why people say it. And I am from Las Vegas, Nevada. The she kind of gives me crystal meth a little bit too here. A little bit. But I think I kind of like her because it seems like she doesn't have the best drag. And that's not a read at all. Like, she gives me a girl who's like, you know, I have what I have. And I'm going to make it work, mama. And that's why I think I like her. And why I say that? Because she had those dang green fishnets from Rainbow Clearance set. Clearance shack, and I noticed because I had one of every color too. Oh. Um, it's very tacky, but on purpose. You know, not everybody is. On Allegedly, she does tacky on purpose. Mm -hmm. As far as her look goes, I'm gonna just rent it. Really? So I had a lot of. But I love how she took her real hair, and she said, "Baby, I'm about to swoop this hair back and have baby hair." Robert, don't try that at home, baby. You're thinning in the front. <laughs> Because if Kamora could do it, no, I'm just kidding. I think she's sickening. No, she's reading her. <laughs> Performance like she got on TV, and now we know why. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
I think it's time we brought hot, sexy bitches back into the race. She said the last season had busted girls. <laughs> Elise, my name is... Morphine Love Dion. Wait, she looks different. This is the girl... I, wait, is this the girl that I said was really painted with the red, the red on? And I said the proportions were a little kind of like off to me. Is that her? Cause she, if that's her, she looks way different here. Like way different. Oh, it is her. Okay, but let's do the lighting. She looks different here. Okay, yeah, she, she's cute. Yeah, but the outfit, I don't know. But, cause like, I feel like it's literally just a corset and that's it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Kira, I love Cali Uchis. I like- Who's Cali Hoochie? In that room just likes to throw money at me. So my parents are- I don't think the way she's sitting is a little unflattering. <laughs> It's like the girls on that tiny little chair, lawn chair at at, at Bosco's um um viewing party. They're all awkward legs sitting there. <laughs> a little bit intimidated because I do paint a stank face here. It is a stank fight. It's stank. Hello, my name. Nymphia Wynn. I like this. The color is a little dull to me as far as like the green choice. But I want to buy this. It's really cool. I love the headpiece. She's definitely like you know you know that you know for the Asian girl to come on. She's definitely like giving me some looks already. Like she really is. <laughs> she really is. I would always doodle in class and. Like I used to doodle in class too, but the teacher put me out when it stank really bad. I went to university in England. I went to university Universal Studios. Does that make me smart? Walk in this world feeling that you're living your fantasy. Now her sounding all graceful and just locking your fantasy and living your fantasy. But you're graceful to Steve Urkel. You know what? And I've seen enough. I'm nervous that the hours. See, I don't like her because she looks like Rose and Jan at the same time. And you know with those girls, well, they're Karen drag. Nina was hatefully violent. But I'm going to be fair. Because, you know, maybe she's not like that. Hello. So, allegedly, oh, this is the girl already. You know, every season now, it's been a new trend. Every season, there's somebody who's in trouble for SA uh, allegations. Girl, I'm surprised Puff Daddy not, not on Drag Race. <laughs> allegedly, if I heard it correctly, some, uh, you know, a, a person from Dragula on this season Dragula now said something about she SA'd one of his friends at a club. Because I guess during a show or something, I think. I could be wrong. It feels during a show or not during the show. She groped, put her hand down somebody's pants and groped them. Allegedly. So I heard people are already trying to cancel her already. You know, I had to talk about this. Because now, you know how everybody use words now? That doesn't really go for everything. But it's to make everything just sound maybe worse than what it is. I'm not saying for her, but I'm just saying just in general. Like when people call you transphobic. But you're so far from that. But they just use that word for everything. Like because you say... I don't like that trans girl's hair. You're transphobic. When there's people that say horrible things and you're not on that same level as them. People just throw words like iconic and legend, but they just started doing drag five days ago. You know, like, and, and you know, when we're in a club, we all know queens do things to audience members all the time. And audience members like doing things to queens. So I don't know if maybe the person was being friendly so she thought it was okay to put her hand down there. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out more about what goes on. But I'm quite sure a lot of guys, if she would have done, done that to a lot of guys, they probably wouldn't care. They'd probably be like, oh, this is part of the show. Drag queens being silly. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So now, are y'all going to cancel Nina West for stealing man's feet during her shows and licking them? Now, I'm just saying, like, if a drag queen is twerking on somebody in the club during a number, you know, on one, on one of the, um, you know, people there watching the show, is that now going to be essay assault too because you twerked on somebody? Even though they were dancing and going along with it? You know, I, I have to hear more of the information. I have to see more. I'm also into very musky, stinky jungle men. Well, you are Russian, I believe. I really oh. stand out from other queens is my stench. Talk about how stank she is. Well, I've seen enough. That wig when I'm done with it. I am so ready to eat the Oh, somebody said that people accusing the girl of SA are co-workers. Who knows? And probably being jealous. Who knows? Plasma is giving me the mom from the Jetsons. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> this one I will rent, though. Named Hollywood. I love the glamour of these. Why do y'all like cats so much out there in America? They funky and they're too much dogs i promise you if you train them they go outside you don't have to smell their dookie or their piss cats 
they're t- y'all talking about, they're too high maintenance. You got to go in there and scoop their dookie out and buy them kitty litter every day or every other day. Get out of there. You just doodle, bitch. I mean, I appreciate cats. At least they try to hide their stuff. And they are very clean. Like, they will, like, literally take their time after they use the restroom to try to clean their paws off and make sure they're not... T- like, they, they, they purposely try not to touch their mess. And they're cleaning their paws off. They try hiding their stuff. Thank you for that. But you're still nasty because I got to go in there and dig your dookie out like I'm digging for gold. As artists can unite over our shared beliefs. And so many people... Dang, she's deep and passionate. Hey, everybody. I'm Q. Q looks totally different here. I'm like, who is this older lady? I don't like how Q did the makeup here, though. I don't. Like, I like the outfit. I'm buying the outfit. But in the when he walked in the runway, or the, the, the workroom, I was like, Q, this one's, I don't know, is a little too, I don't know. <laughs> in fact, that makeup makes him look like Jennifer Tilly. She might have to go, Chucky. Go, Chucky. <laughs> hey, Oprah, have you seen Chucky? I make all the things that I wear. Okay, well, she said she makes everything. Okay, that's good. This looks good. Rose petals, and it was like one of the first times I'd seen theater and drag just mashed together. That was the first time you've seen theater and drag go together? You must not love drag that much. What? They're doing that. I thought they were done. Never mind. <laughs> oh, what are they wearing? Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I like this person. I gotta see more, but I think I like this person, though. Hey, y'all. I'm Sophia Crystal. She like her boots. <laughs> I'm gonna rent this though. I'm gonna rent this. Give me drag nutcracker. From the bear's home. Up to the surprise. I mean, it wasn't none of that. It wasn't none of that. I mean, but it was cute for what she did though. What I've heard is that I'm a very intimidating presence, but I hope. I think a lot of these girls so far has, has been like, don't believe what y'all hear about me. I'm a good person, I promise. If somebody has to say that, they're lying. <laughs> 16 crowns? So, yes. See, she says she has 16 crowns. I knew, like, you know, like, she gives me that kind of person. But what kind of crowns, though? Is it, like, Miss Universe, the big, the best, the, the, the best, biggest drag pageant? Or is it, like, your local bar? Miss Crown of Tallahoochee, Alabama's Red Lobster's Crab Shack. Like, you know. <laughs> A queen would never come for me. They would know better. No one usually... Oh, see, now, earlier she just said, people say I have a very intimidating presence, but I'm really warm-hearted but now. A queen might not come for me. They know better. Don't they see me? Mm-hmm. Damn, them bitches look real. I'm gonna need her to probably put on a little more makeup or, or a forehead contour or something. Maybe a forehead contour or something, because I don't know. Like, she definitely has potential, I'm seeing, to look real real fishy, but I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe it's to set it off cornrows. <laughs> but she's kind of giving me like she's going for a black um, version of Cammy from Street Fighter. I'm seeing the rest of the hair. Is it, is it the eyebrows? Is that what it is? Eyebrows? Maybe it is. Look, queens are back, baby. She said, look, queens are back, but I'm not buying this look. <laughs> I'm not buying this look. I gotta, but I'm, I gotta see more from her. I have to see more. With the next best thing, a tsunami. <laughs> wait, wait, who said LaShawn Beyond earlier? Because now I do, no, y'all said about the other girl. I think right here, she kind of gives me more LaShawn Beyond a little bit. And this look especially. That's the references that I go- Is it also because the wig doesn't have any ba- any edges or baby hair? <laughs> I'm just I'm really over here looking, just trying to see, like, what don't I like about it? But I'm trying to, like, like it. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, as soon as I saw Naomi Campbell, that's what I wanted. Head to toe. Want to tell you, all those black queens like Naomi Campbell? <laughs> Nobody ever says, I like that. Uh, that, that, what's her name? Oh, the very dark-skinned African girl who's always bald. <laughs> Roy's like, Naomi Campbell. Did that reveal gag you? It made me sleepy, actually. Because the queens are runway ready, like... Well, they're making it seem like these girls are going to have nothing but looks all season. Let's see. That was long. That was a long meet the queens. Like, it wasn't, like, boring, but it was just long. It was long. <sighs> but what do y'all think of the gals? Be sure to comment down below and let me know. And thank y'all for watching another Raw View. As we get to gear towards a whole nother season of this franchise. But thank y'all. And remember to stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. And also remember to like and subscribe, tip if you can. Kimacho or Kimochi. Bye-bye. I'm so white and confused. Where is the manager?
Where is Fubu?